Thank you for purchasing your Progeny Vantage. For assembly of the Vantage, we will need a copper strip, a drill bit, a 14 millimeter socket wrench, a tape measure, a drill, a phantom, cutting pliers, metric Allen wrenches. Note that the Quick Start Guide attached to the shipping container provides an overview of all of the detailed steps that will be included in this video. Note that the crate is a cardboard shipping container. An actual delivery may occur by preserving the original wooden frame. For reference, the dimensions of the inner wooden frame are 68 by 43 by 23 inches. We begin by using cutting pliers to cut the black band strapped around the shipping crate. Next, two people will remove the outer wrap of the shipping crate. Lift the outer wrap and carry it away from the rest of the crate. The complete contents of the Vantage are now visible. Begin by removing the wall mount kit. Next, remove the plywood panel at the bottom of the assembly. Continue removing the rest of the inner boxes from the crate. Be sure to take special care of the panoramic sensor when moving. Open the accessory box removed from the shipping crate. Remove the software guide and USB drive, the Cat5 Ethernet cable, the wall mount push button, the remote exposure button, the head support wands, the TMJ positioner, the panoramic bite piece and positioner, and the sanitary barriers. Push the wood frame slightly forward by six inches. From the top of the assembly, lift the entire structure up and forward. Keep the Vantage in its frame for as long as possible until the machine is in its final upright position. For wall mount installation, Begin by reviewing the requirements for the wall mount and fastening kit. The exact requirements are detailed in the Quick Start Guide under Step 4. Be sure that the wall mount is level and note that the mounting holes are slotted for installation. The main column will be attached to the wall mount 47 and a half inches from the floor. After mounting the wall mount bracket, snap the column in place. You must attach the clamps but do not completely tighten until checking to make sure that the main column is level. Select two cement anchors, two washers, and two nuts from the hardware kit. For wood floors, select two lag bolts and two washers. For cement or tile floors, use a 3 8 inch drill bit. For wood floors, use a 1 quarter inch drill bit. Insert anchors and tighten with a 14 millimeter socket wrench. If installing using the freestanding base, first remove the packing materials from the base of the column assembly. Carefully tilt the main column forward and slide the freestanding base components underneath. Once properly aligned, use a socket wrench to fasten the outer four bolts to secure the column to the base. Be sure to level the base using the adjustment screws. Use an 8 mm Allen wrench and turn counterclockwise to adjust the base lower and clockwise to adjust higher. We will now continue with assembly of the Vantage. Use cutter pliers to remove any remaining black bands and discard loose 2x4s. Draw the wooden frame forward and away from the main column. Remove any remaining packing materials. Note that the patient table located halfway down the column, is not a leverage or a lift point. Three shipping bolts, a bracket, and four screws must be removed before operation. Begin by removing the three located near the back of the overhead. Next, remove the remaining four bolts and bracket near the front of the overhead. Attach both head support wands to the patient table. Carefully remove and unwrap the Vantage sensor from its container. Remove the pink foam from the C-arm. Put the sensor assembly in place and lock it by releasing the sensor button. Without using a blade, open the remaining box. Remove, place, 
and lock the overhead arm cover on the Vantage. To begin setup of the Vantage with its host workstation, connect the Vantage to your wired Ethernet network using the included Ethernet Cat 5 cable. The Vantage acts as a network appliance that connects directly to your network. In order to receive X-ray images, you must designate at least one workstation on your network to receive the images. Plug in the included USB drive. If the software does not start up an installation automatically, navigate to Windows Explorer and select the Progeny Drive letter. Browse to the content of the flash drive and double-click on Setup.exe. Click on the Install Progeny Device Suite button. Choose Vantage Pan checkbox. Once Progeny Device Suite installation is completed, continue by clicking on the Install Progeny Imaging button and follow the installation prompts. Green check marks next to each of the buttons will appear when both the Progeny Device Suite and Progeny Imaging are installed. Exit installation by clicking on the Exit Door icon. Connecting your computer to the Vantage system can be set up either through Progeny Imaging image management software or through Progeny's Twain interface. Power on the Vantage by flipping the switch located at the rear of the main column. Make sure that the emergency stop switch located below the patient table has not been pressed. If so, rotate the switch to release, power cycle, and energize the Vantage again. On the workstation, Open the Progeny Imaging software by clicking on the desktop icon. Enter Administrator for the username and leave the password field blank. Verify that Vantage Pan is selected in the Device drop-down menu. In the top menu of Progeny Imaging, browse to Tools, Devices, Device Configuration. Click the Connect button. The Select Pan Server window will automatically discover any Vantages on your network. Highlight the Vantage you want to connect to and click the Select button. If your Vantage is not automatically discovered, click the Net Config button to select a specific network adapter. The selected Vantage will now be visible in the Server Connection section. Click the Close button to complete the connection. Allow the Vantage system to synchronize with the workstation. The light for Vantage Pan should now turn green. At this point, all images taken with the Vantage Panoramic will be delivered to the client. If you are using Vantage Pan from a third-party application, you will need to open Progeny's Twain interface to connect to the Vantage system. To access device configuration, click on the device configuration icon within the Twain. A red ready status indicates that the Vantage is in an unknown position. A yellow status indicates that the Vantage is in the entry position. A green status indicates that the Vantage is ready for imaging. And a blank status indicates that the Vantage is in the exit position. To reset the overhead support, tap the cycle button on the Vantage Touch once. Doing this brings the Vantage to the patient entry position. In order to visualize the image phantom properly, select 66 kilovolts and 8 milliamps during X-ray scans. Place the copper strip over the sensor as further beam attenuation. Firmly place the phantom on the positioning table. The position of the image phantom should leave no gaps between the phantom mounting block and the patient table casting. Activate the alignment lasers and center the cuspid laser. The images may be precisely measured by using the application program called ImageJ, which is included within the Vantage workstation software. Image measurements may be approximated by using the included measuring tool. Attach the chin support and the panoramic bite piece to the patient table and place all remaining accessories in the patient table compartment. If installing using the freestanding floor base, complete installation of the bolts now accessible at the front base of the main column. If the requirements have been properly verified, your Progeny Vantage has been correctly assembled and is now ready for use. 
Please refer to the additional videos included with your Progeny Vantage for proper patient positioning and Vantage Trust support. <laughs>